Today on our channel, Life as an AG Doll, we are going to review the Our Generation Diner. This diner comes from Noah and Asa's story, and they are both Our Generation Deluxe Dolls. This is Noah right here, and we have her for this diner review. Also, this is Shannon, and me and Shannon are matching 50s outfits. Because this is a 50s diner. Also, this would be great for your Our Generation retro dolls. So now I am going to review the diner. So, uh, um, first... We're going to start off with the booth. I love how they built in a booth with the diner. I love how two dolls can fit in this. I love overall how the diner's a room because you can always get like um, like a set that's like that comes with a counter and a booth, but this is a room. So I love how it's like the diner. So it could be like a set or something um, when you're filming like AG stop motions or playing with your dolls. And first, I want to start at this window. So this window can close and it can open so you could see through. So it'd be cool if you put a doll around here to look through the window. Also love how there's space so the dolls can peer in from outside the diner. So I love this window. And yeah. So... First, I want to talk about the music. This is like in the 50s, they had like this thing called the jukebox. And when you played the um, music, um, it would start um, playing for the whole diner. And it was really popular in diners. Um, and also there's mini ones, big ones. So I'm going to click on this heart and it's going to play music. <laughs> Such 50s beats. So that's not the only beat. There's so much other more beats when you click on it. And also, just like a jukebox, they have all kinds of beats. And also, your dolls can have a diner dance party. Also, a cool thing about the window is that you can, if you don't, if you want to play from this side with the boot to reach over, you could always pull the window down and back up. Next, there's the napkin box. And I love how there's like a little um, slot so you could keep all the napkins in just in case the doll's face gets dirty. And I love um, how the napkin box is purple and orange and how it's so realistic. Next, there's a pizza. This pizza doesn't come with the diner. It comes with Noah and Isa set. So if you want to complete the whole diner collection, you could get Noah and Isa so they can play and order food in their own diner and bake food. So I'm gonna open this pizza up. So here is how a doll can take a plate and they could start eating. And I love how you could break the pizza into all the slices you want with this slice. And this slicer, um, it slices the pizza. So next, after the pizza, there's this table. I love this table because it's so realistic and because if you take this um, the thing that holds the table, you can make it like the table just rise on its own. And I love how there's so much space and it fits between two chairs. And, and also next, you could flip down the table if you don't want to use it at the moment. So now it's just two chairs, and I love how it creates more leg room. And it's really adjustable um, very easily. Like, you can adjust it really easily. So next, these are the chairs. These chairs are so 50s style. I love how it's in a booth way. They have designs, and it's orange, and it's like a real cushion. 
and I love how they're identical. And I'm gonna show you how a doll fits in the seat. So you can fit two dolls at a time. One doll can go in each chair. And it's so easy to sit the OG dolls in or any 18 inch doll, which I love. And it can also eat the pizza. And it's just so cute. The doll fits really good. So it's a 50s doll in a 50s diner. So that's how an OG doll looks in the diner. So next we have the booth. And I love the booth. I love these black hearts. Um, it's so pretty. And I love this. I love the design on here. I love the counter. So people eating in like the bar area. Well, um, the the seating like this. This this way is a booth. And to sit like on a countertop with that, like a high stool like this are both the very popular ways to sit at a diner in the 50s. Because that's how a diner normally looks. And so this um, is where you could fit like foods, like um, this, for example, you could um, eat a food on here. And this, is, I love these chairs, they fit the doll so well. So next you can actually open this. And this way, it's easier for the doll to fit into the counter space. I love how they made a counter space inside and how it's open. So how they could talk to their customers really easily. So I'm going to show you how a doll can walk into the counter. It's really cute. And also, I love how um, the doll can fit here so easily. And it's so, so cute. And so we can have one doll sitting here, or two dolls, because I love how there's two stools. So we can have more than one. And how we have the counter. So next, we have this pink telephone. I love how it's so realistic. And it says local call, appeal call. Uphill local, 10 cents. So you take the phone out. This is how a phone was like in the 50s. And you put it to their ear. And it looks like the doll is talking on the phone to a customer who wants delivery. delivery. And also, um, there's um, this where you could keep all the food. And you open it like this. So when you open it, you could pull it out from here. You could pull it out from the back, like how I did earlier. And I love how there's so much foods in this. And this is like a display case. And that's really cool. There's also the OG logo here, the heart. And here I love how there's like a center place for this cake to go on. And I love this up here. This is for drinks. Like this comes with no one. Is a set, the lemonade, these two lemonades. These just come with the diner, different um, foods. But um, then we have a chalkboard. And you could actually write on the chalkboard with real chalk. So you can write a menu. You can write um, like the, the specials on the menu. Maybe some special announcement. And I love how they just have menu in bold there. So and then you, your dog can write on the chalkboard. And then I really like how um, this um, does that print here. It feels so cool and it looks so retro. And I love the floor. It is so, I love the checker style. And it's so cute. And usually floors today don't look like this. So I think this is especially really cool. So here is where the dolls can keep um, inside where the waitress can get cups, plates. So this is how you can draw on the chalkboard and you could draw a heart. Or you can make a star or make it into a flower. Also, if you press a button, this really cool 
neon light goes red neon light goes around the counter and in order to do it you pull the tab under counter and there should be a button right here and now i just turned it off and that's how the neon lights work this is how the front of the diner looks it's so cute i love how it says OG's Diner in like 50 style writing. I love all these like windows and I love the style and I love how you could still, the doll has an entrance. It doesn't take over the whole space so the doll still has the entrance. For example, Noah, she still has the entrance. It's like if she stops at the diner to walk in and see people. And that's the review on the OG Diner. Now I am going to show you all the foods that come with the diner. First, I will be showing you the top, the food on the top shelf. First, we got this coffee mug, which is great for the dolls to drink, especially in the morning if they feel tired because coffee makes you wide awake. Next is the container to pour the coffee mug in and I love how it has this opening so it's really it looks really realistic next is this smoothie next we have this milkshake with a cherry on top which I love next we have this bottle so the doll can pour whatever drink they want in here And next we have this lemonade cup and this lemonade container to pour the lemonade in. And I love how there's a lemon in here and it's so realistic and so cute. Next I am going to show you the foods in this place. I love the door and I love how there's a cute heart handle to open it up. There. First, I'm going to start up here. There's this cake, and the coolest part about this cake is there's a slice that can be removed and replaced. And I love it, and I love how it can show the inside of the cake. I think that's so cool. And I love the chocolate-covered strawberries, absolutely my favorite. And I love how it shows the icing dripping. I think it's so realistic. And I love the short ones, some longer ones. And I love how it's like the perfect cut slice. I think it's overall just so cool how you can remove a slice from here to serve it to the dolls. Next, I'm gonna show you what's in these things. And I love how you can twirl it around. You can really show the food in all angles. First, we have this dessert. I love the cherry and how it's a brownie. And I love how it all goes together and I love how it's already on a plate for you. So it totally won't fall off now since it's on there. And next we have these chicken fingers with this ketchup and the lemon. And I think it's overall so realistic. And the dolls are really going to enjoy this meal. Next we have this meatball sandwich and what and an avocado. And I really like it and I think it fits the plate perfectly and it even feels realistic next i am going to show you the supplies like the plates and cups that go in here and i love how it's in here so the dolls can reach it when they're serving customers and i love how there's so many space in here so you can put stuff in there that doesn't come with it and that you can just put stuff back and put so many rows and i overall think i i love how there's so much Base, and that way you can put fit so many things in here so it's not all over the place first we have these american girl doll plates from the rest the restaurant we have these plates and these plates come from the ag restaurant too and next down here we have these cups from american girl I love the flower and I love how it matches on the plate as well. We have these plates, these small ones and then big ones. 
And then we have these bones of the heart on it. And I love how they're all like perfect for the dolls and there's different sizes depending on what meal your doll gets. And lastly, we have these two cups. I love the handle. And I really like that it's so easy to just reach down and grab something. It's not hard, which I love how you can just grab it and then it could already be there for you. And also you can fit other things like milkshakes up here since there's so much space. And for example, you can move this cake and fit this cake. Again, they're both strawberries. And I love how you can add some cups up here. This is from the American Girl Doll Restaurant. And I love how you can fit some like unicorn cake. And you can open this and move this out. And you can add so many yummy cupcakes. And see, that's so big, you could fit so much. And it still stays on even when you turn it around. And I love it, you it put so many different foods. So there's a variety of options to choose from, like a banana split. And there's like these teapots. And you could put daisies in here. That's all the food that comes with the diamond. If Noah wanted to serve some food, it's so easy for her, especially with her roller skates. And she can take a plate and she can take a slice of cake. And it fits perfectly and she can just give it to Shannon. And that is all the food that comes with the diner. We hope, hope you enjoyed, enjoyed our, our Our Generation Diner Review. Don't forget to subscribe, give a like, and check out our other channel, I Love Project, on our channel, Life as a Doll. Bye, thanks for, for watching. watching, and stay tuned for our Our Generation School Review. Welcome to town. This is the 50s diner. My family owns it. Hi, I'm Noah's grandma. I've been owning this diner since I was a teen in the 50s. Wait, things don't look right. What do you mean? We are in the diner. You two girls, I just shouted, come here. Girls, it's about time you settle down. This is my family's diner and this place is crowded. Wait, the music took us back to the 50s. Um, yes, we are in the 50s. Let me teach you how to be the eliminate 50s girl. Well, the first step is rolling with those rollerblades. <laughs> Do a cooking contest. Don't let that poodle skirt stain and don't let it ruin the food. Wear it proudly. Ta-da! I think we tied. Now it's the last one to see if you're the eliminate 50s girl. Don't think inside the box when choosing music from the jukebox. We went back to 2021!